Bunny here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the first of my new series, Bunny's Favorites. It is a new series where I go over my favorites for each month, whether it be a TV show, a favorite read, or, you know, favorite articles of clothing, makeup, whatever. It's just things that I found throughout the month that I just want to share with all of you. So the first thing I want to share with you guys that I love this month is my new dress. I got it from Hot Topic. It is Himoto on pink tie-dye. It is a sweatshirt dress. I mean, I just love it. It is so cozy. I got it on clearance. And I mean, look at the sleeves. Just look at them. It's so cute. It's cozy. I'm down. It's perfect to wear at home. I will leave a link in the description box of where you can get this dress you know, at this point in time in the future, it may not be available, but I absolutely love this. And I know that they had other ones. I saw Tokyo Ghoul, Star Wars, plenty of other ones, both for sizes who are smaller or plus size like me. So I'm sure you're bound to find something at Hot Topic, not sponsored, but I hope to be sponsored one day. The next thing that I want to share with all of you is a show that I found on Amazon Prime. My husband told me, we have to watch this, we have to watch this. I said, what is it? He said, it's by the creators of Walking Dead. Now, I love Walking Dead. Me and zombies, you know, I'm down. And also, Amazon Originals has some really good stuff out there. Like, I loved The Boys. Like, it is one of my favorites. I've watched it twice. Once by myself, and then I rewatched the whole thing with my husband. Now, Invincible is a lot like The Boys, um, I do admit, because it is about a superhero world, and it's not for kids. This is not Batman the Animated Series, okay? This is for adults. There is blood and guts and all kinds of stuff. I love the idea where they show that superheroes aren't necessarily always the heroes and I loved that aspect of the boys so I think that's why I really enjoyed this series. Another thing that I loved about the show was its diversity and its inclusiveness for other people of color and for people who belong to the LGBT community. I enjoy the fact that the main character who is invincible, that's his superhero name, he is half Korean and You'll never guess who his voice actor is. It's Steven Yun from Walking Dead. He played Glenn. Oh, he had my heart. Mm. And just like The Walking Dead, it does have a comic book. That's where the story originated from. So the TV show is an adaption. But I did find some of the comics on Kindle. So I'm going to give those a read. I haven't read them yet, but I did binge watch the first season. I really recommend Invincible to people who enjoyed either the boys or they like adult cartoons or just superheroes in general. So go ahead and check it out on Amazon Prime. So speaking of zombies, Zom 100 Volume 2 came out and I loved it. I loved it so much. I read this with a buddy of mine on Instagram and we just laughed our butts off. Zom 100 is a slapstick comedy with horror aspects just like Shaun of the Dead or Zombieland. It's one of those beautiful combinations and it's such a fast read. The art is enjoyable. I mean, this one had a zombie shark in it. I was so down, but at the same time, it was giving me like Junji Ito vibes, like seeing the zombie shark monster. Yeah, those who know Junji Ito know what I'm talking about. I definitely recommend this to anybody who's in the mood for zombies and comedy. Speaking of more buddy reads and manga reading in general, I can't help but share this volume because it was the best thing I've read all year, to be honest. And I did say that I wasn't going to do a video again about it, but, uh, well, I'm human and it was good. I'm talking about DeFi Island. I said in my last video, no, I'm not going to do a video review about it. I take it back. It was that good for me. It was one of my favorite reads I've had all year. It was the highlight of my month. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Bunny, what do you mean it was the highlight of your month? It's a manga about winky fighting. Yeah, I know. And it was fun. Life just sucks sometimes. And you need something funny to read. This was it. This was it. It was absolutely ridiculous. Just like its title that I cannot say. But uh, you get what I'm trying to say. 
Yeah, there we go. I do admit, there is a winky fighting. There is more to it than that. There is a lot of comedy. There is characters that could develop into relationships. There was something special about this, to be quite honest. It wasn't just going in a ring and then like having winky wiener sword fights. It was a lot more than that. Would I say it has a deep plot? No. <laughs> no. This does not have a deep plot whatsoever. This is not meant for people who want to see if there's a hidden meaning of anything. No. It's exactly what the title It's exactly what the title says, okay? It is about a group of guys that go and fight in a battle royale type of situation on an island and they're trying to have a winner to be the next ruler of their island with winkies. Now here's the thing. I loved it. I gave it five stars because it was that ridiculous and that funny and I enjoyed it. I'm a simple girl, simple taste. My friend who I read this with, don't judge us, okay? My friend who read this with me, she gave it like an average review, like maybe three and a half stars, maybe four. But our other mutual friend hated it. She called it trash manga. And it could be trash, but it's my good kind of trash. So either way, you're going to love it, hate it, or think it's eh. But for me personally, I enjoyed it. So you adults, adults 18 plus, if you want something completely ridiculous and funny with some good looking naked men, I recommend it to you. Not not children. No. I see you teenagers. No. No. The last favorite for this month is actually a YouTube series that I stumbled upon by accident. YouTube recommended it to me based on my previous watches of true crime and uh, other things. I just gave it a chance and it's called Are You Scared? And it has, uh, I believe their names are Ryan and Shane from BuzzFeed. They have their other series, which I believe is called Unsolved, where they do either paranormal ghost hunting or they talk about unsolved uh, cases. It's about, I believe it's Ryan. I'm terrible with names and I'm dyslexic. So forgive me if I'm wrong. It's about Ryan who reads these creepy stories to his friend Shane and sees if he gets scared or not. And while he's reading it, there's these really creepy and cool art that's in the background and it's kind of like playing out each scene that he's reading. And at the end, if you last that long till the end, you find out whether the story was fictional or if it was true. And there have been a few true ones. I have a lot of favorites so far. One of them is, are you afraid of being hunted? I like that one because it reminded me of Scream and that's my favorite slasher franchise. I really liked it. I really recommend it. I know it's not otaku related, but it's my favorite for the month. So I'm going to mention it. So go ahead and check that out if you're into true crime or horror. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy this upcoming series. It will come out at the end of every month. I'm also testing out some lights right now. So if you see some glare on my glasses, I apologize. But I'm trying different things right now. I'm trying different lights. I'm trying different angles. I'm playing around. Like I haven't figured out my whole setup yet. So bear with me as I dabble in a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. All right, have a nice day. Bye. And I know what you're thinking. Really, bunny? It's about men who fight. <laughs> Luna, don't judge me!